Yes. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi. I'm good with faces. Ready. Okay. <coughs> Yesterday on the press conference, you, uh -oh. with a little help from Lars, said that you would be making two more films. Why? A little prompting from Lars. Um, you know, I have not signed anything yet, but I am very... I'm dedicated to him. I'm dedicated to him as a strong voice in this world, and I think as um, part of my journey as an actor is to be involved with directors that um, that I feel strongly for, and Lars, you know, probably is the top of the list there, so... <laughs> but three film will Lars. Trilogy, yeah. Mm. That's okay? It's something that I say, this is, interests me. I've ne you've never seen a female um, exist through three films with the same director and different stories being told. And, and that, I think, is unusual. And that's, um, and that's what I would like to do with him, yeah. What is the difference making a movie in Hollywood and making the Scandinavian way? <laughs> I don't know, I don't make that many Hollywood movies, if that's what you want to call them. Um, I just make movies. I travel the world, I'm a gypsy. Um, I find different places to go and be, and Sweden was a lovely place to be, <coughs> partly because I was protected and isolated. And I was able to go after work, because Lars finishes at about five o'clock in the afternoon and I could go and walk in the woods, and I love to be in the air and amidst the trees and that was a really beautiful time for me and I really like that and I love to do something that I feel passionately about and then also you know to go and take a walk and think and read mm. my book <laughs> and <laughs> a quiet existence. How is it for you as a strong independent woman to play these uh, suffering women in Lars von Trier's movie? I don't know whether you're strong and independent, whether you're weak, whether you're vulnerable, whether you're, I think, as a woman, you're a whole mix of emotions. You're a whole mix of things. And one day you feel strong and the next day you feel incredibly weak. And I think that's part of the honesty. You know, if you stay honest and open, then that's just life, isn't it? And that's existing as a feeling open person. And the different states and emotions that that exist within all of us. So um, I think it's more just trying to be honest and true. How was it to have the eyes of the director uh, in front of you during the shooting? You know, last with the camera. I love that. I love it. It's why I want to work with him again, because there is something so touching <coughs> about him behind the camera with this huge monstrosity, holding it up and filming you and then reaching out and holding your hand mm -hmm. while he's doing it. And I find that comforting and and touching. After Ken, you and Lars go separate, will there be any kind of mental connection between you? I think what, I think that's happened and I think that exists now. And that's why we come back and work together again you come back to each other. I don't hmm. know if the, I'm out of time or... You are, I'm afraid. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.